And then William said, oh, it doesn't say Alos. You should want it to say Alos because that would support your position or be closer to supporting your position because Alos means another of the same kind. But as Shimon just broke down the Greek for you, heteros, just like heterosexual, means another of a different kind. Therefore, it means another God of a different kind. You are completely buried. You're done. You're barbecue chicken. And today I have an exciting episode where Mr. Shamoon himself, he couldn't handle it. So he had to respond back in retaliation to his friend, destroying him, making him look like a complete buffoon. Shamoon could not handle that. So he responded in kind and chose to bury his best friend. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to their relationship after this because William, Shimon's best friend, completely threw him under the bus and buried him, made him look like a fool, demonstrating that Eusebius, who Shimon, in response to me a year ago, was claiming is a Trinitarian or was a Trinitarian, and that we need to basically bow down before Eusebius and to love him and to respect him and to defend him is to defend Jesus and the Bible itself. That's how he made it seem and almost explicitly what he said. Now, William would mock that, basically laughed at that and said that Eusebius was an Arian heretic who is not venerated in the Catholic Church or any of the serious churches. So he completely destroyed Shimon, proved that I was correct and that Shimon is a moron, doesn't know anything about historical theology, doesn't know anything about what Eusebius believed and thought that he had to metaphorically get on his knees for Eusebius in defending him and claimed that he was a Trinitarian and William buried him in his debate with me, called him openly an Arian heretic. How does that make you feel, Sammy? That your own best friend had to correct you and buried you. Well, we know how it made you feel. So you responded in kind and chose to bury him. Let's take a look. I made a slip of the tongue and I thank Nick for catching it. The words heteros, theos, right, means Jesus is How do I say this? Like heterosexual? It means another God. But what does another God mean? The word heteros means, right, another, right? Like heterosexual. Homo means the same. Alos means another of the same kind, right? So if I were to say, alon parakliton, alos paraklitos, another paraklete of the same kind. So in Greek, alos means another of the same kind. Heteros means another of a different kind. Homo will mean another of the same kind, right? Homosexual, heterosexual, you get my point? So I thank Nick for catching this because it Okay, so the context is Shamoon is talking about Justin Martyr, where he says that the son is heteros theos. He is another god. Now, the word god there is theos, just means a divine being, something that's divine, a god. Even human beings are called theos sometimes in the Bible itself. So I argued in my debate with William that yes, Justin believed that the son was a god, but not the most high god. He was a lesser and distinct subordinated divinity. Now, one of the ways in which I prove that is he explicitly says that the son is heteros theos, another god. Theos clearly means god. Heteros clearly means another. But there are different words for another in Greek. And Shimon goes over them. He gives three different options, right? And he's making a distinction. He says, alos is another of the same kind. So if actually they wanted it to be closer to their position, it should say alos theos, another god of the the same kind, but they don't even have that. They have heteros theos. Sam says, and rightly and correctly so, that heteros means another of a different kind, as opposed to homo. That's why you have heterosexual, males and females, mating and having relationships, getting married. And then you have homosexuals, those who engage in nefarious affairs with those of the same sex. So homo means same, alos means another of the same kind, and 
heteros means another of a different kind. So what would that mean, Sammy? Mr. Scam Shimon? That would mean heteros theos means that the son, according to Justin, is another god of a different kind. Meaning he's not the same god. He's not the same type of god. He's a lesser and distinct subordinated divinity. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. But that contradicts what your own buddy William said in the debate. So let's take a look at what William said. So I hope Jake did the research on the Greek words there because that's the whole context of what he means by another God, another person of the Godhead, not literally, not alas deos, not a completely different God with a different divine essence. He's very clear on this point. Doesn't mean that there's two different gods with two different divine essences. He's Did you hear that? Another god, according to Mr. William, means another divine person. That's not what the terms there are. Heteros means another of a different kind. Theos means God. In order for his position to work, it would have to be another divine person. The word would have to be person there. Theos doesn't mean person. It means God or divine or divinity. It doesn't mean a person or divine person. And even if you wanted to make that work, you shouldn't have heteros because that would mean that even if it was divine person, it would be divine person of a different kind. It's heteros. Sam just told you. And then William said, oh, it doesn't say alos. You should want it to say alos, William because that would support your position or be closer to supporting your position because alos means another of the same kind. But as Shimon just broke down the Greek for you, heteros, just like heterosexual, means another of a different kind. Therefore, it means another God of a different kind. He's not the same God. You are completely buried. You're done. Your barbecue chicken. Let's make it halal barbecue chicken. You're done right then and there. Nothing left. So your own friend, Scam Shimon, just buried you on explaining the difference between homo, alos, and heteros. And heteros theos, as he said and openly admitted, means another god of a different kind. So if Justin said that the son, and he did on several occasions, is heteros theos, another god of a different kind, he cannot be a Trinitarian. Therefore, Scam Shimon is admitting that you lost the debate, William. How does it feel that you got buried by your own best friend, your fellow Mary worshiper? How does it feel? It must really truly hurt. But you can't blame Sam because you just buried him a couple days ago when you showed him that he was bowing down before a heretic, Eusebius, and you exposed his ignorance and you admitted that I was right in correcting him that Eusebius was an Arian heretic according to his principles. So he shouldn't be bowing down down to him and metaphorically getting on his knees. So you can't really blame Scam Shamoon for responding and burying you and admitting that you lost the debate, William. Because once you admit that he was another god of a different kind, that's game over. Justin Martyr is no longer a Trinitarian. He's a henotheist. He's somebody who believes in multiple distinct gods. The son is a god, but not the most high god. Similar to the pagan Mushrikeen at the time of the prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu was salam, where they believed in these semi-lesser divine beings that were intermediaries between God and creation. That's what Justin believed. He's coming from a Neoplatonic or Middle Platonic background. He's not a Trinitarian. And he definitely didn't say another person. He said another God of a different kind. Wow, William. Too much barbecue chicken. I'm going to have to share this food with other people. But I hope that you guys found this video educational and enjoyable. If you did find this video interesting and educational, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you get notified of future videos. Like, comment, subscribe share share this with mr scam and william and let them know that they've just buried each other and if you guys want to go above and beyond and support the channel then the best two ways to do so are at the pinned links that are at the top of the description of this video as well as in the comment section of this video with that being said guys until next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh